my dad in three around Purpur Bone Bay. Everything's going pretty well. The sea is calm enough. Got plenty of food. All our stuff safe. Vessels and we are moving at a decent speed. <laughs> Surprised. I'm also surprised given the experience of the team. We are moving very, the very decently. Good. We've got our food, we've got snacks, and it's beautiful. We've got a little bit more choppy, as you can see, we're a little bit rocky. Casper is circling around in the background. What do you have to say, Casper? Right, that's how I'm coming. Are you having fun? Yeah, wait, wait. wait. I mean, look at this guy in action, one handed. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yeah, just say what you have to say. Are you having fun? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna survive until tomorrow. <laughs> but that's alright, I didn't really want to in the first place. <laughs> it's the most important, yeah, when you live your last day to have fun in it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. It's not a show. Let's do it. Oh, the sea is pretty fucking shallow. I can see the bottom. I yeah. reckon it must be like three or four meters down here. destination for today the tip of the promontory apparently there must be fresh water there too we have with us some seven or eight liters of water and hopefully we are going to find some nice fresh water over there where we're going to overnight for the first night and then for the second day we are going to check out all those islands over there that's for now Careful, baby. Slow. I see some reefs over there. I see a reef there to the right. Let's avoid it. Slow and slowly. Let it roll. Let it roll a bit. Let it go on its own. Okay. Let it let it remain.
Here we are, the sun has just set, dusk time. We went to that villa, to that beach we were originally planning to go, but uh, it was rather touristy. There was a small resort over there and lots of white folks and lots of local folks and local folks coming to us and asking for a fee to stay there and such bullshit overall, yeah, nothing too interesting even though the beach was beautiful. So we paddled, we paddled for another uh, 3.5 kilometers, some 15 kilometers today in total. And here we are, we arrived early afternoon. Not the best beach you can imagine. Uh, rather rocky, but still uh, nice enough to spend the night. Kind of baked throughout the day. We got some shade here and there, moved a few times, and now we just made the tent right behind me. Uh, we have plenty of firewood, and we are getting busy with dinner. Casper was in the other beach in the meanwhile, he just came and he was loafing all day long. Why were you loafing, Casper? Why were you loafing? We were working and you were sleeping on the other beach. But now, yeah, now he's going to do all the work. Look at that for a peel. Oh, very good peel, yeah, indeed, indeed. And that helps. Uh, so, the menu for today, the, the meal, is baked vegetables in the fire. And potatoes. Well, potatoes, well, they're kind of a vegetable. They are uh, condylus, technically. And tomatoes either, they aren't quite a vegetable, but something between a fruit and a vegetable, I reckon. Potatoes are condyly, which is not quite a root either, so it's just uh, a deposit of energy for the plant, for the harsh days. Every day I learn something new. <laughs> Anything to say, Sophie? <laughs> like always. Okay, so now I'm going to chill myself, smoke a fag, and uh, let Casper work. Thanks. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Woke me up several times. 
<laughs> uh, Refreshing? Absolutely, yeah. We'll have a dip though. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Uh, so it's about to have a dip. I just had my own. She's a bit afraid of the sharks. They're just looming all around us. No, they're not. Can, you can see the fins in the distance. Okay, and the giant, the giant venomous jellyfish is all around. Giant, giant squids, giant killer squids, yeah, man-eating yeah. squids. And the Loch Ness monster. Yeah. Which monster? The Loch Ness monster. Yeah. Stop it. Okay, so ready? No. <laughs> and you, Casper? Yeah, pretty much. Going to have a dip too? Huh? Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, when you jump, I just let your uh, your kayak drift, and I'm you are jumping. you'll be <laughs> you'll be after it. I'm not jumping. I'm hiding. <laughs> Go, Casper. One, two, three. I'm not scared to jam, so I'm just like waiting for something. <laughs> Ready? Are we going? Yeah. Alright. Are you holding? Are you holding or not? Yeah, yeah. Have this. Don't worry. I'm going. Go. One, two, three, go. Go, Sophie, go! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bleak! Oh. We are settled for tonight, this lovely secluded beach. We are at uh, peak tide, so in, uh, despite of how it looks like, we are not going to be floating in the sea anytime in the night. It reaches peak very soon and it uh, reaches ebb at 3 a.m. Sophie is already preparing for dinner. What are you doing, Sophie? Killing vegetables? Killing the potatoes. No, no this is a carrot. <laughs> and then the potatoes. And then the potatoes. Yep. And then we make our fire. And we play cards. Mm -hmm. And we can get drunk. Oh, yeah, you got your drunk. Yeah, yeah. Tonight we are uh, well prepared. We got a bottle of rum. Plus one beer for Sophie. And we are going to get all plastered. Casper, <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's loafing, just doing nothing. He's out there in the sea. How is it going, Casper? What are you doing? Swimming. I mean, not really swimming, more like floating. <laughs> Uh, it's a really lovely beach, a really lovely beach, we had a good swim, looking east, so we're going to have a really nice sunrise in the morning. We even have fucking internet, yeah, that's an antenna over there, <laughs> yeah, 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 and then, yeah, we've got better reception here than in Port Barton, basically. So we can even, we can even uh, consider watching a movie tonight, yeah, not bad at all.
Okay, Kasper, you are on air. Narrate our adventure. Is it live transmission? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's good. What happened to us tonight? We... Tonight we were very peaceful and very quiet and did no, no harm to anyone. And as we were about to have our dinner, sat on a beach, in a very, very quiet spot with no people around, there were a couple of guards who approached us with the flashlights, very strong flashlights, and also with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Fully loaded. Fully loaded. I figured, I don't know, is it fake or real? I think. Yeah, it was certainly exactly real. In it was certainly real, but I doubt it was loaded. But after all, that guy stays here, yeah? They indeed have a fucking guard with a shotgun on the island. I was pretty sure mm -hmm. they called him from uh, Port Barton. But he seems to be staying here. They have a 24-hour armed guard over here, which is pretty wow. bizarre. You picked the best spot. Anyway, they ask us to move, and what we suspected would be asking us for, to pay. Turn out they didn't ask us to pay. They, they wanted to. They wanted, they wanted to, to, but then yeah, we didn't give uh, much chance. Yeah, that's where they were. Uh, that's where they were bringing me to. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah. Anyway, we end up in this really nice spot where they let us stay because it's too dark to set off to the open sea now with all, all the sharks, right, right, Sophie? Uh. <laughs> no. Sharks are especially active at night. No. No? It was very nice paddling though. <coughs> oh, that was really nice. Yeah, I wouldn't mind I going really to the that. Far Islands too, yeah? It would be an interesting trip overnight. To do it in the night, that was really fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. But here it's fairly nice. It's fairly nice too, yeah. If we didn't have all those folks around us, they have a bar over here and sit, and we have a volleyball court. And then, yeah, the, the beach is absolutely the lovely. If it was empty, yeah, it would be the best spot on the islands, guys. Yeah, it's just that we have those uh, guards and uh, stuff right behind our bags. No. And then we also need to be away from here before 6 o'clock, latest at 6, they wanted 5 or half past 5 because if it was any earlier, if it was any later, all the tourists will come and see us camping here, it's not good for their business, so that's why we need to set off very early. We were thinking perhaps not to do that, but just light an enormous fire in the morning and get to play <laughs> some, uh, some volleyball with a coconut. <laughs> But then, yeah, that would be too provoking. So we will have a early start tomorrow. But very responsibly, we are getting smashed to the rum. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the best thing we can do under these circumstances. Cheers. Okay, last leg, six kilometers. Ready? I'm ready. Is Casper ready? <laughs> sort of. As ready as he can be. Many times by being so pissed, so hungry, but during transportation. He just. On a canoe. <laughs> he asked me whether it's illegal to paddle under influence. <laughs> <laughs> He's losing his license. <laughs> okay. So many fish. So many fish. It would have been yeah, yeah. Could see from snorkel. here too. Could see from here. So we're heading straight there to Port Barton. That's where Port Barton is. I thought you said it was over there. 
know yesterday we were seeing some lights somewhere about there, but that must have been another village. Ah. Or Bartoni is right over there. So we're not going around the island, we're just going to go straight? Back. Yeah, we go straight because also now the the tide is low, okay. so the crossing over there we need to we need to pull the to pull the boat across. Yeah. And Casper is drunk and hungover, so he's not very eager to paddle extra. Did you put the raincoat back inside the blue bag? Did you take your raincoat? I've not took anything. I ran away I when I seen there. sick. Um? I put it on the. Uh, could you check? Blue back. This is my phone is inside. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ready. Oh. <laughs> I've had my morning paddle. Going? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Casper, see you in Port Barton. <laughs> Remember? <Check me>. It's that <laughs> island. <laughs> Well, you will figure out eventually. What? You will figure it out eventually, I reckon. Or die. You can see. That's the most important. As long as you can see. Not too much. <laughs> see four fingers. Casper, <laughs> how many fingers? No, I can't see. No? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have them. You don't. You don't have your lenses then. In place. I can't see very clearly. Go for a swim. You're junk here, eyeballs in the sun, in the yeah, and sea water. Sophie, yeah. can you fix the cover over there? Mm -hmm. Just cover the corners. This one, the other one. Perfect. Okay, let's go. I know, we're just getting away from you. <laughs> It's a fucking lovely morning. Rains are expected at some point. Let's hope we'll be back by then. Are you still drunk, Casper, or you got the hangover now? Port Barton, we have three turtles ahead of us. We proceed slowly, not to scare them. Oh uh, they are swimming, taking their heads out to breathe. Hello, turtles. Did they dive? Or... Yeah, there's, there they are. There are three of them. Oh. Where did they go? They must be somewhere underneath us now.
or a dip. So here we are approaching Port Barton, third and last day of the trip, last leg of paddling, some two two to three hundred meters less than 10 minutes we are on land <laughs> 